Alright, so a lot of you guys were wondering, you wanted an update on what happened with my brother's motor after we ran it and all the rags got sucked through the intake and, and in the chamber and everything like that. So I thought I'd just make a video real quick and tell you guys what happened. Um, on a side note, I have immensely enjoyed reading all the comments on that other video. Uh, sounds like a lot of people have done similar things. And uh, you know, I'm kind of scared riding on airplanes now after reading some of the comments. So, you know, kind of scared to think this kind of stuff could happen on an airplane. But uh, anyway, so um, you know, as you've seen, uh, he pulled the heads off the motor and the yellow microfiber rag got, you know, built up in the chamber real bad and it was kind of wrapped up and belted around the valve kind of built up the, uh, the valve stem and everything like that, so that was kind of a mess. Um, on the other head, that blue rag that went through just got kind of like wadded up and stuck behind under a valve on, on that side. Uh, that blue rag didn't like shred apart or melt or do anything weird. He was able to just, you know, pull that out in one piece basically. Um, but he pulled the valve that had the yellow microfiber all messed up in it and he had to put a lot of effort into getting that all picked apart because it just melted in there everywhere. And I'll, I'll throw up a, a picture of what that looked like. Um, and then when he had the heads off and he was looking at it, if you look at all of the, like the cylinders, the top of the pistons, we couldn't really tell if anything was damaged necessarily. I mean, you can see that the rag, there's bits of yellow rag all across all the cylinders that kind of went through the top end of the motor a little bit. Um, you know, it, it didn't like ruin the cam, it didn't go down in the oil or like mess up the bearings or the, the crank or nothing like that, so that was good. Um, but just looking on it, you couldn't really tell like if one of that piston, I think it was number seven, couldn't really tell if that one was coming up all the way right or not to see if the rod was bent from smashing on that rag. Um, so you actually had to get out, you know, like a, a measuring gauge and, uh, you know, check all that stuff. And it turns out like the number seven piston just, it was like 20 thousandths below the, the top of the cylinder there, like where it should be coming up to, which isn't really a whole lot. So he ended up, uh, you know, assuming there was some damage on that one, obviously. So he took it apart and he took, I don't remember which cylinder it was, but he took the other piston out that had the, the rag stuck in the chamber. You know, he just tore that down, took those out, took them to our machine shop over here. Um, and our machine shop guy, you know, he's kind of old school, but I, I totally trust his work. He's super knowledgeable. Um, he checked it out and said that that one uh, rod had just had a little twist in it somehow. It wasn't, you know, like bent or compression, you know, damaged or anything. Just it was a, a twist for some reason. So, you know, he said he can actually take out a twist, but if it was compressed or if it had like actual bend, that would, you know, just be screwed, throw it away. So he repaired that, and um, then my brother just had to clean up all that, the junk out of the bottom end and everything, all the chambers, just get all the rag junk out of there. Uh, I sent the cylinder heads to another machine shop, and he had like six valves that were either slightly bent or wouldn't seal up anymore. It was kind of another thing where you just couldn't visually see that like the valve was bent. You know, none of them were like bent over at a 90 degree angle or anything like that. You know, it just wasn't obvious. So. Uh, I think he replaced those valves and you know, had everything lapped in and just gone through so they'd be good again. Um, put it all back together and it, it runs great now. We threw it back on that same engine stand, you know, uh, minus the rags and the intake. And uh, you know, it sounds great, it runs good, revs nice. Um, he's actually got it put back in the S10 that he's gonna be running that motor in. So that was kind of what became of it. Could have been a lot worse. Uh, you know, didn't total the motor. I think he was only at like 150 bucks between the two machine shops and like some new head gaskets and stuff like that. So anyways, that was kind of an update on what happened there. And uh, I got some more stuff to do, show you on this car I've been working on. So catch up with you guys in the next video.